I'm Shane Osborne. I'm the chef of St. Betty's in the IFC in Hong Kong. And today I'm going to show you how to do Eggs Benedict at home. First of all, first thing we need to do is we need to poach some eggs. So the eggs we're using, these are called Taurian eggs from Japan. Beautiful Japanese eggs that are fed on wild grasses. We've got some white wine vinegar there. Pour about two tablespoons of water. What the vinegar does is it helps the egg contract and set around the, helps the white set around the yolk. So what we want to do now, now the water is about 96, 97 degrees, we want to create a vortex by spinning the water around. You can either use a spoon or a whisk if handy and pour the egg in the center. The eggs take between three and three and a half minutes to poach. If you want to do this an hour or two ahead, just have a, a, a bowl of ice water. So when the three minutes is up, you can put the eggs straight into the ice water to stop them cooking. You don't want to make sure it's very important that the water's not boiling, that it's just simmering. Simmering means that there's small little bubbles, there's no rapid boil. So the temperature of the water is about 96, 97 degrees, just below boiling point. Yeah, I can feel it by touching, because the white is set, I just want it to be a little bit more set around the yolk. But these eggs are fine. And take them out, put them into the ice water, and then leave them there for about two or three minutes, just to stop the cooking process. And then when we want to dress the dish, we'll put the eggs back into the simmering water for about another two minutes. So the next step to the process is to make the hollandaise. Hollandaise sauce, the main compa uh, components to this are egg yolks, um, butter, which we clarify. Clarification means you let the butter melt and you've got the fat content, which is the, the clear butter there, which has been separated from the milk solids. So four Tyrian egg yolks, we've got a tablespoon of white wine vinegar, about two tablespoons of just room temperature water. Pepper, you can either use black pepper or white pepper or even cayenne pepper if you want. I like the fresh, freshly ground black pepper. Put about 10 grinds into there. What we've got to make now is what's called a sabion. Pan of boiling water, just ticking over nicely there. Pan on the top. And what you have to do now is continuously whisk that egg. If, if you don't whisk it continuously, what you'll end up with is scrambled egg. Then we just take it off the heat. And what you're looking for to see that this sabion is cooked is just by lifting it up, it should change color slightly. So you see it's gone from bright orange to a yellow color. If you do a number eight and it remains in the sabion, then it's cooked. So I've got the clarified butter. Now very slowly, this is like making a mayonnaise. It needs to be very, very slow at the start. Squeeze about a quarter of a lemon in there. Because of the amount of butter in the egg in there, which is fat, it needs quite a bit of lemon to cut through that richness. So a little bit more lemon again. Okay, the important thing to do now, once you've got your hollandaise made, is to not let it go cold. Because if the butter goes cold, it will set and go hard. And then when you try and heat it up again, it'll split. So just leave it somewhere warm in the kitchen. Room temperature around 25, maybe 26 degrees is fine, but anything colder than that, after about half an hour, it will set rock hard, and then you won't be able to use it. Traditionally, eggs benedicts are served on muffins, English muffins, which are cut in half, toasted. What we use instead of the muffins is we make our own sourdough. At home, you can do this in a pan. Just get a non-stick pan or a stainless steel pan, warm it up, rub it with oil, and then lightly toast it. Or if you have a toaster, you can just put the bread straight through the toaster. This is cooked salted ham, cured ham. Um, you could use parma ham, you can use serrano ham. Uh, you could put that into the oven just for probably 30 seconds just to take the, the chill off it and just warm it through lightly. So now to build it, so just fold the ham over the top. It's important to season the eggs. The eggs haven't had any salt or pepper on them, so just sprinkle quite liberally with some flake salt, a little bit of pepper, and then very carefully place the eggs in the middle of the toast. Then just finish off a lovely golden hollandaise sauce. And that is uh, classical eggs benedict served our way on homemade sourdough.